And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Polar Party. Polar Party is a game for young children. It says 5 plus on here, that seems right. Maybe a 4 year old could play it, but it's probably kindergarten, first grade, second grade style game in which you are collecting fish in a little bit of a press your luck style way. It also comes with paper. This is actually an iceberg. I'm going to fold it up and make an iceberg somehow, some way. Uh, there we go. Beautiful, huh? Okay, so first of all, these pieces of paper that I come with here that are like icebergs, this is just for decoration. You're going to just put these around the table uh, as icebergs. That doesn't have anything to do with the game. The game actually has a bunch of fish tiles that are all placed face down like this. Uh, two penguin parents are placed here on a track, and you each player gets two penguins of their color. On your turn, you're going to roll a die and see what happens. Uh, if you have two penguins that are awake, you can roll it a second time. If you roll a fish like it shows here, you take a tile and you're going to get zero, one, or two fish and you put that in front of you. Yay, two fish. And sometimes when you turn these over, uh, it's garbage fish. Now, if you roll the whale, then the whale will come and you open his mouth and put all the fish inside his mouth. And if you roll the penguins here, your parents are on your way home. So you move one of the parents one space forward each time that happens. Now at the end of your turn, you can secure your stash of fish. I just put here the fish that are in front of me and I say one of my penguins is going to sleep and I put them on top of the tokens that I have gotten here. I can no longer use that penguin. From now on I can't roll the dice twice, I only roll it once, but the whale can also not get these. When I've secured a second time and have both my penguins sleeping, then I don't roll the die at all, and instead of my turn, I just move one of the parents home. When both parents get home, you're simply going to count up your fish that you've gotten, and whoever has the most fish is the winner of the game. I already mentioned these pieces of paper. I don't know. These don't work very well for me, folding them up and making them as icebergs, but I guess it's a cheap thing to throw in the game. The whale itself also doesn't really matter. There was a rubber band that broke. I just use now an actual rubber band, and you're just opening him and putting stuff in. The little kids will find that fun. I mean, there's a lot of this game that's just, like, here's these penguin parents. It's all thematic. You could have just had one parent moving eight spaces, but... Eh. And the fish are colorful and the tokens are. This is definitely a kid's game and the quality, other than the paper, seems to be pretty good. I suppose you could argue that the box and the game is bigger than what's inside and that might be true. Uh, like you don't need the icebergs, maybe you don't need the whale or the penguin parents, but that whole background and stuff makes it fun for little kids. Now this game is luck. You roll the die, you take the fish. There is no choices except when to put your penguin to sleep. You make that choice twice. And your child will have to decide whether to do it after they catch a couple fish, which might be not a bad move to protect those fish. And, you know, or you wait longer. So that's that. It's, again, for little kids with just a few decisions over the course of the game. Now, you can still, even if you're careful, you could say, I'm going to save my fish, but you could just keep rolling the whale or keep rolling the parents. And it could be, there could be maybe a game where a kid, no matter what they do, just doesn't get as many fish at all. But then you could play it again. It's pretty quick. And this kind of teaches you a little bit about that pushing your luck, pressing your luck out there. I don't know if I want to teach kids to be gamblers per se, uh, but it does give that out there. And the components are fun. And the kids like the wonder of finding a fish token and hoping they get two fish on it. So, I, don't, I wouldn't rec this, recommend this game for up, upper elementary or beyond, but for lower elementary and kindergarten, this is a fun little kid's game. Check it out. That's Polar Party. I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you next time. Dice Tower Judgment. Little kid approved.